one of the assignments that we're completing for the unit is for A2, the SpongeBob SquarePants variables. And as you can see in the directions here, it says that we have to read the description for each of the scenarios and come up with the various answers to the questions. So this is the first one we did together in class, so you get to hear it again in this particular video. Let's read together the scenario, Krusty Krabs Breath Mix. Mr. Krabs created a secret ingredient for a breath mint that he thinks will cure the bad breath people get from eating Krabby Patties. He asked 100 customers with a history of bad breath to try his new breath mint. He had 50 customers in Group A eat the breath mint after they finished eating a Krabby Patty. The other 50, Group B, also received a breath mint after they finished the sandwich. However, it was just a regular breath mint and did not have the secret ingredient. Both groups were told that they were getting the breath mint that would cure their bad breath. Two hours after eating the Krabby Patties, 30 customers in Group A and 10 customers in Group B reported having better breath than they normally had after eating Krabby Patties. As we did in class, our task is to answer the questions. First question asks, which people are in the control group? The second question, what is the independent variable? The third question, what is the dependent variable? Number four, what should Mr. Krabs' question be? And number five, why would you think 10 people would group B with report pressure breath? So let's take the first question. The first question is, we want to know who are the people in the control group. So there's a particular group of people who are the control group in this experiment. Well, one group of people received the breath mint that Mr. Krabs was uh, testing. All right, so that would be the first group. Well, that wouldn't be the control group, because the control group is a comparison. So, they would have to be the people who received a regular breath mint. That would be a placebo if this was a medical experiment. So, those are the people in group B. The next question is, what is the independent variable? When we look at independent variables, we are oftentimes looking at that variable in which it is going to uh, be tested. So this is what they often call the experimental variable. Right? So it is the thing that it, Mr. Krabs will be changing at the beginning of his experiment. So he wants to test what? He's testing his in special ingredient and his breath mint. That is the independent variable. Now, the other variable that we look at is the dependent variable. We also call it a responding variable. This is the thing that Mr. Krabs would measure to know whether or not his experiment is working. In this case, he's measuring whether or not people have bad breath or not. So, the dependent variable would be bad or good breath. Remember, that is his measure. What does he know from this experiment? Number four asks, what should Mr. Krabs' conclusion be? Well, he had 30 customers with better breath compared to 10 with better breath. So it could be safe to say that the breath mint does help most people and curing their bad breath from a Krabby Patty. So that could be his conclusion, which I didn't fully write here. So put it up here. And the last question asks, why do you think 10 people in group B reported fresher breath? The most common answer in class was that a normal breath work still worked. And those people still, you know, had a breath mint that worked for them. Yeah. And, and number five could have a variety of different answers. So that's what we're looking at when we're, when we're doing these scenarios. 
can we find these individual parts that we must be able to identify in an experiment? This was question number one. Look at other videos to see some other hints for some of the other uh, questions on this page.